Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over to AFP, and the article is by Frederick J. Brown. And um, this is about Kobe Bryant. If you are not aware or familiar, a trial is uh, set to take place about Kobe Bryant's crash photos. And um, this is the latest on that. Um, a court case brought by Kobe Bryant's widow over graphic photographs taken by first responders at the site of the helicopter crash that killed him got underway in the United States on Wednesday. The basketball superstar and his teenage daughter was among the nine people who perished uh, when the chopper smashed into the hillside near Los Angeles in January of 2020 which we all are aware of. Vanessa Bryant alleges she suffered emotional distress because personnel from her Los Angeles, from the Los Angeles uh, Sheriff's Office and firefighters snapped pictures of the scene, which they later shared with friends and first responders. At least 11 sheriff's personnel and a dozen firefighters shared the photo within 24 hours of the crash. Bryant's attorney wrote in the court papers. In the following weeks, one sheriff's deputy flaunted photos of remains at a bar. Another text photos to a group of video game buddies. And county fire personnel displayed photos at an award gala. Lawyers for the Los Angeles County do not dispute that the photos were taken, but insist they were never made public. And, ha and have now been deleted. Uh, Mia Heshmal, representing the county in the civil litigation, said the case hinges on the issue of public uh, dismentary. I apologize. I, I'm not. I'm not into it today. Um, but from the time of the crash to now, the county has worked tirelessly to prevent its crash site photos from getting into the public domain, she said. One, uh, two and a half year, no county photos have appeared in media. None can be found online, and the plaintiffs admit they never seen them. Vanessa Bryant's case has been combined with a uh, similar case brought by Chris Chester, whose wife and 13-year-old daughter also died in the crash. A jury of six women and four men were selected Wednesday, CNN reported. Relatives of several other victims were last year granted $2.5 million in compensation over the photo taking. An investigation into the crash found the pilot had probably become disoriented after flying the uh, slow ski S-76 in fog. Bryant is widely recognized as one of the greatest basketball players ever, a figure who became the face of his sports during the glittering two decades with the Los Angeles Lakers. He was a five-time NBA champion in his career that began in 1996 straight out of high school and lasted until his retirement in 2016 after which he began building a lucrative business portfolio. He was also a two-time Olympic gold medalist, helping the U.S. squad and the NBA stars to title in 2008 in Beijing in 2012 in London. And that is the end of the article. I mean, it's crazy. Like, I can remember exactly what I was doing when... Um, the news had came through that uh, sadly Kobe Bryant and his daughter had died. Um, it's just one of those moments that sticks in your mind. Uh, even though, like I, I will admit, I'm not an avid basketball uh, fan. I really can't tell you anything about you know basketball, but you definitely know some names and you know, generally, 
And Kobe Bryant was one of those names that, you know, when you heard it, you knew who he was. You knew what he do, did, you know, what his record was and, and everything, you know. So, um, very tragic circumstances that happened. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to the families and the widow of Kobe Bryant um, for their loss. However, it was not right for them to snap photos, and even though they say they can't do it, uh, if you sharing death photos of Kobe Bryant to your gaming buddies, nine times out of ten, it ain't, I mean, I'm not saying that it, it isn't possible, however... Somebody is keeping it well under wraps because that's, I mean, you know, allegedly, you know, uh, speculation, basically. Um, just, you know, it's just terrible, you know what I mean? I mean, for them to share anybody's photos, uh, death photos like that, you know, um, it's just crazy. You know, I mean, why would people want to see? I mean, I understand the the basic principle of why people would want to see that, but um, I just feel as though, personally, in my opinion, if you uh, respected this man, if you loved this man, and you know what he did in his life, and how he played the game, and you know the sportsmanship and the teamwork between him and his colleagues and things like that like the last thing that I would want to do is snap a picture of his you know uh, body you know nevertheless his 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 children and other people that were on board the crash and you know circulated like hey this is what I got you know like I mean if you have any type of respect and honor for this man or what he was in his life when he was living, um, that would be the last thing to cross your mind. You know, I would think it would be a little bit more, you know, respect there in terms of, you know, basically who he was, what he did, uh, you know, just have an appreciation and admiration for the person that he was. Um, just, I don't know, it just blows my mind, but that's it for this article. I will update you on this article and any other article that I choose to post on my page. And I thank you so much for coming to my channel. And um, I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Until then, let's get down in the comments and let's talk about it like we do with any other of my videos.